What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again. I know some of you guys have been waiting a while for this with Classroom of the Elite, one of the goaded shows. We're doing season three. I'm on stream right now doing episodes one through four, catching all the way up. I should have one and two uploaded and then three and four uploaded. So in the future, I'll be doing this weekly and just as a normal seasonal show. But before we get to anything, for those of you who don't know, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally available exclusively on Patreon, is available for free for everyone. Click that link on the top of the description. Enjoy that full length. Come back here for the review when you're done. And if you enjoy that format, consider checking out the Patreon. It does support your boy and you guys get some great benefits. Also, before we get into anything, we do have a Q&A section on the Discord. So if you guys ever want to ask me anything, I'll try to answer it before the next reaction that I do. So before we even start Classroom of the Elite, we already do have a question coming over here from the master. He asks for Classroom of the Elite, what do you hope to see in this season of Classroom of the Elite? Maybe more action or finally people getting expelled or more characters introduced? What do you think? It's a great question. You probably answered it a little bit for me yourself, but definitely more action, especially with the type of martial arts styles that Ayano Koji was throwing at the end there. I want to know more about the white room and the Yano Koji's dad, especially with how Saki and Nagi kind of confronted him at the end of season two, saying how he's the what the false genius. She wants to be the one to take him down, bury him, as she said, you know, so I want to know more about I want to see more action. I want to know more about the white room. And in terms of characters introduced, I kind of like our cast. I do want to see people get expelled. Kushida, get her the f out of here. You know what I'm saying? Um. And I'm a little suspect of Ichinose. But other than that, I really do like our cast. I'm hoping eventually, my boy, even though Ayano Koji is one of the most cold-hearted goats of mental mind characters there are, I'm hoping maybe it's Horikita, maybe it's K. I'm hoping he can have one person that he actually cares about and doesn't, I, but maybe that goes against his character. I don't know. Great question. Super excited to hop into the season. Like I said, check out that Patreon for the full length early access. Check out the social medias. Like I said, we're live on Twitch. Follow me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all at Dapper Darius. Your guys' support is immense. And please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. I'm not going to waste any more time. Classroom of the Elite, episodes one and two. Let's do it. All right, here we go. The strongest principle of growth lies in the human choice. George Eliot, Daniel Deronda, season three, episode one. It's a great bar. Human choice is, the, 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 is everything, especially when it comes to, to growth. Yeah, is this another test or a vacation? What are we doing? Yeah, you say hot springs. All the all the boys are gonna want some more peeping, you know. <laughs> now, if I forget any of the names or if I forget anything specifically, I want you guys to bear with me. It's been a long time since I've seen this. Please help me out in the chat. Oh. A newly advanced class. We're C now. That's a huge upgrade. Was that something that was that? Was that said at the end of life? I know, especially with the paper shuffle and all that, I know we were expecting to upgrade to C. Did that like get announced officially? Okay. To inspire primarily mental growth. It has to do with the quote at the beginning. Okay. Somewhat forced social interaction. Or test. I like to pause it because they'd be throwing me with information, you know. Alright, Zen. A meditation test will be conducted in the dojo. Grading will be based on etiquette and posture. I'm pretty good at meditation, I won't lie. A written exam. You know, Yano Koji's going to smoke that. I'm about morality. Okay, speech. Will give us oh that would be I would be horrible at that I hate giving speeches volume posture content and delivery makes sense and a marathon a relay oh, we know Ayano Cody is gonna be smoking that interesting interesting their leader and one person chosen by their leader expelled uh, he, he does get into a lot of beefs with a lot of people. I hope Sudo can be a little bit more positive now. Yeah, that's going to be the hardest for me is remembering names in the show. I did my notes today just to catch up. As you can see, I have so many names already listed. That's the one I'm most wanting to see right there. It's weird hearing us be called Class C right now. 
チェック用紙にサインしろ今回の試験俺一人でクラス全体を保護するのはまず無理だ守るべき対象は守っておく必要がある We know for a fact you gotta protect K. That's the new student council president, right? He's been way more chill. Voluntarily relinquished his throne. Facts. Look at Albert. I don't remember what's his name in the middle, but Ibiki and Albert. I wonder what Albert thinks of Ryuan now that he's relinquished his throne. We haven't seen a lot of Manabu, but we know he's nice mentally and physically. That boy can run. Respect it. Okay. I mean, that's enough. Your, somewhat of your reputation is on the line, especially because it's a public challenge, you know? Nagumo Miyabi. Nagumo Miyabi. That would be exhausting. I won't even lie to you. It's a good workout, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget what we can do to you. Is that Koenji? What the fuck's his name again? This guy's been the biggest menace in all of the show. <laughs> He's low-key the funniest person in the show. Now, he's from 1A, I remember. He was with... He's also from 1A. Yeah, he's... Uh, the guy on the right is from Katsuragi's group, and he's from Saki and Nagi's group, if I remember correctly. Or a man of ruffians, unlike the other groups. That is true. I'm curious how this is gonna go. I'm very intrigued. See, she's been low key one of the nicest people in the show so far, which makes me not trust her. <laughs> ここで強いのはコミュニケーション能力にたけ信頼されている生徒だ。私を監視するため。それとも仲間として認めてもらいたいから。え、そういう目的があったことは否定しないわ。I'm <笑> I'm that's the most curious I am with the show is what's gonna happen with Kushida. Is she gonna eventually turn and somewhat be helpful? Or are we gonna get her ass out of here? I'm cool with both. I guess that's a point. Also a fair point. You could absolutely be a real asset. Can totally see that. That's why I'm saying I don't want it to be Horikita that leaves, so we gotta get Kushida out of here. What is this, Mozart? What is this, Bach? Where the hell is Koenji? He's probably doing his morning workout or run or something. Yeah, he has to be there for roll call. He did a workout or he went to the sauna or something. I mean, you see that physique, man? You only keep it up by doing the things he's doing, you know? 
Yeah, don't start fighting now. Koenji's also a character I'm very interested in. Okay, don't let's not start talking shit to each other. Facts. Koenji's another character I'm super intrigued by because one, obviously he has the physique of a god. Two, he doesn't want to really participate in any challenge he doesn't have to or is forced to. And three, that one exam or test we had where we had to find out the VIP of the group, he was able to figure out Loki like the fastest. So mentally, we know he's up there as well. Like I'm super curious about this boy. Way to keep in line. I'm a pacifist, you know. Yeah, I'm super curious. I like Sakayanagi's group much more than Katsuraki's group, so I like him so far. Gotta go for your daily training. I need to get back into working out. I have not done a single bit of exercise since my wrist. I cannot wait to get back into it. She has a very soothing voice. The girl with the white hair. Yeah, I don't trust any happiness in the school. Some of these girls might be genuine, some of these girls might not be. I really don't know. Don't know who to trust. Oh. That's fucked up. I know it was an accident, but... Saki and Nagi seems like a type of girl to fucking get you beat the fuck up just for doing that. I'm saying, you did just trip her, my guy. Good, good man. Why is that? Can I get some info why? She is like the leader of Class B. I've been wondering that as well. Interesting. Two, over two and a half million is insane. Saki and Nagi speaking facts. So we're putting our fight with Class A a little bit on hold right now while we deal with B. But I'm very intrigued. I am very intrigued. It was Manabu who wrote the note. No, I would love to know why. We're helping with the last thing at the end with um, Ryuen. Okay. お前が裏で指示を出せばいい。俺は上級生に関する。いや、what's <笑> Interesting. I really enjoying this music in the background. It adds tenseness to the situation. Hmm. 
I hope he doesn't. I actually have grown to like Manabu, even though he's a. You know. Is this the opening? I don't think there's been a classroom of the elite opening that's disappointed me. They're all really good. All right, episode two. Man is wolf to man. Homo homini lupus by Plautaus. I'm assuming that's a philosopher. Man is wolf to man is a bar. Because that's facts. This guy is too much, I tell you. I tell you. In kilometers? Hey. Yukimura is more mental than physical, but hey, it's all good. Yano Cody's gonna look out for him. I gotta get his name. I know he's Sakyanagi's right hand man, but I like him so far. I don't necessarily trust him. I don't think he's doing anything for the sake of others. I think he's doing it for all his class and stuff, but I like his charm and his leadership. Did my man kill a boar? That's a ginormous boar. Boars are dangerous as hell, too. Because you've been so absent for so many of the other exams. <laughs> what does then? Let me know. This man is brolic. It is I. Of course it is. That's kind of big information. So Koenji can tell. I love how he said feigning ignorance. That's exactly what Yanakoji does. Good. You can't convince this guy to do anything, I tell ya. I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder how gamey Boar is. Nice of him returning that. Interesting. We know that's not true. なるほど。それも一つの手かもしれませんね。ニヤビにしんすいしているわけじゃなさそうですから。名前言うね。私だってニヤビとは結構深い関係な。I wonder if they were ex. I wonder if they were a couple at one point. 俺が聞きたいのは女子のグループ分けの時のことです。Back to kind of what Ichinose said about some girls are very open about saying who they do and don't like. Look at my boy Koenji. Man sleeps like a fucking dead body. That's how, like, you're supposed to sleep, though, on your back. Okay. けど、疎外感みたいなのはずっと感じてた。だからサッカーはやめた。けど、あまり後悔する。サッカー部の連中を見てると、俺もあの場所にいたかもしれないってな。モーラス、リスニングトゥ。I そもそも運動能力なんて伸ばしても無意味だと思ってた。それで勉強が得意になったわけだ。You know he's a brainiac. 
気がつけば俺なんかよりよっぽどクラスの役に立ってた。I can make you feel bad, you know? Especially because he put so much faith and hope into his academic intellect, you know? Yeah, man. That sucks. 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 Yeah, I can agree. <laughs> Are we calling a ruffian? I'm just getting the names down that I don't have Ishizaki. I want to eventually get everyone's name down, you know? There's so many names in the show. Why can't everyone have names like Albert? Make it nice and easy, you know? His ankle's still hurting him. And now Ichizaki, instead of demeaning and ro roasting him, is helping out, man. This is some genuine communication and relationships growing right here, which I I like. <laughs> My delinquent friend. He's so big, you know? <laughs> Ayano Koji can run faster and longer than everyone here, so. I like this group because you're splitting class A, B, C, and D together, but I like the bonds we're going right now, I won't lie. That Ishizaki snoring like that? Oh, see? I like this guy, but I don't trust him. What's he doing? He's gonna go report to Saki and Nagi or something? Hashimoto and Ryuen. The hell are they meeting for? I get his name, Hashimoto. You can't read their lips. Is that Manabu and Miyabi? Mmm. Now I'm double curious. Now I'm double curious. We're doing the test. So we gotta get our posture right. Shout out Yukimura. As expected, the marathon. I like the song that's playing in the background. The OST this season has been hitting. Second runner, Moriyama. Okay, Tosuka. Hashimoto. Okay, he's making up some ground that we lost earlier. Let's go, Albert. Come on. As soon as we get to our late game hitters, like Ishizaki, hey, that man's got some speed on him. Woohoo! I know they said going to the downward slope. As soon as he gets to Yano Koji, we'll be doing excellent. Oh, seventh is Yukimura. Okay. His ankle's still killing him. Okay, Yukimura, let's get it. I know it's hurting you like crazy, but fight through it. Especially with the ragged terrain would definitely amplify the pain so much more. See, the OST is kind of hitting this season so far. He's exhausted. He's definitely lost him some time and distance. He's about to fucking faint. Good support. How the whole school, especially with that relay, knows how good he is at running. Still got Koenji. I want to see you go, Koenji. Let's do it. You, you can do backflips or whatever you need to, but... Oh, we're not... Okay. We're going to get the results right now. All the boys groups are chilling. No expulsions. Shout out the gang. <laughs> Family. Technically, won his challenge with Miyabi. 
おめでとうございます堀北先輩残念ながらボーダーを下回ったグループが一つある<笑>責任者3年 B クラス So, yeah, 3A boys did the best, but 3B girls did the worst. Sekinin Shajanak Michizreno Hoda to Mozo Zanen Daga Ikari. Oh, that's kind of fucked up. And what if she designates someone like Manabu? Ikari Dario Stazer. He must be Masu Tatibana Panetan. That's horribly fucked up. Nagumono Vana. Chokset's tickets now, Mekramashi no fake. Sai Shokara Hyotekiva, Tachibana Akane. Tachibana. Nose or your Tayorana Kato. Soreva. Rikitakun. Oh, that's. That's a fucking smart play by Miyabi and a good ruse, but that's horribly fucked up, you know? I'm saying I thought it was me. Hey, trusted you not to be an a hole. Hey,ちょっと。also a valid point but not everyone looks at people like pawns you know he might have actually liked her what would that be oh i do love their faith in manabu Mm. Feels like a chess match when you hear music like this, like choir, you know, orchestral. Everyone has a light and dark side. That's what I'm wondering. Why would she be cool voluntarily being expelled? I guess that's a valid point. I guess it's a valid point. Same thing kind of with Ichinose. She's the bank vault, you know? Whereas, whereas Miyabi has the entire grade, too. That's crazy. That's crazy. Good that we were able to observe this, so we kind of know how he's willing to play dirty. Would you save me? He promised he'd save you whenever you got into trouble. He loves that. That's like, make her heart whirl when you say that. Yet, Ayano Koji just means because you're an indispensable pawn to me, you know? Alright, that was episode one and two of season one or season three. It doesn't feel like we took any break. It feels like they didn't even give us any intro. We're right back into it with the mountain test. The one thing I'm really liking is not introduction of new characters because of characters we've already met before, but in other situations, but the expanding on them like Ishizaki, uh, Hashimoto. The one that I'm intrigued by is Miyabi Nagumo, the new class president. He is kind of an a-hole and I was not expecting him to be to fight dirty like that, but Things are already starting as a chess match. There's so many pawns, so many pieces being played and moved. And I'm very curious where this is going to go because I don't. This is one of those shows for certain shows. You can see kind of an overarching plot. Obviously, we're trying to get to class A. But is this going to be a long running show where we can get up to year two or three? Or how is this going to work? I'm super curious what's going to happen, especially now that Manabu wants us to take out Miyabi. And we know Yano Koji. Except to certain people like Ryuen, Horikita, Koenji now. Like, everyone doesn't think of Yano Koji as a threat at all, yet he's easily the biggest threat here. So I'm so, I just love that aspect, how he's feigning ignorance. I'm super curious where this is going to go. Overall, loved the introduction. Opening is an absolute bop. 
super enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Like I said, check out that Patreon if you guys want the full length from here on out in the future. Um, I'll be caught up soon. And then, yeah, enjoy that. Uh, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.